So I just want to make a quick video of how to export a Gerber file or a Gerber file. I'm not sure of the right pronunciation, but how to export a Gerber file from Fusion 360. Now, if you look at the documentation, it says something to the effect of go to the CAM tab and do your CAM stuff and there's going to be an option there. And so what I originally thought you had to do was like switch to your 3D view, which will go ahead and render something. So you, you, you get the component view here, which is kind of nice. And then what's really confusing is you go up here and then you go to manufacture thinking you're going to get into the cam view and you're really in the, in the, in the exact same manufacturing view. So this is not <clears throat> this is not what you want to do. Uh, cancel, close. What you really want to do is you want to go up to this tab, which says manufacturing, because the UI is completely different for whatever reason. I'm assuming that they just tried to shoehorn in the Eagle stuff into Fusion 360 as quickly as possible and they, they weren't able to make the UI match. So what you do is you go ahead and you click here on manufacturing and then you go over here to click on cam preview. And then, you know, you, you get here and you're like, oh, <clears throat> I can only export an image or a DXF file, but that's not really where the magic is. You click on cam here and now you have a little tab here that says Gerber. So this is where you can export a single uh, layer or you can just go ahead and export all the layers um, and I believe that if you just export a single layer it will go ahead and fill out these this percentage project name percent prefix that will go ahead and auto create a folder hierarchy for you and it'll put this top copper layer in there um, if you want to export everything I think you just have to be at this higher level and then you go ahead and click process job and go ahead and click OK. And then open folder. And then you can see under my profile name, cam outputs. What you'll see is you'll see the Gerber files in here and then your drill files will be in here. So uh, you can just drag and drop these into flat cam or whatever you want to use to post process. But that appears to be the way you get to, or you get from your layout here to uh, a Gerber file. So hopefully this will save somebody a little bit of time. It wasn't obvious in the documentation uh, how you actually get to this point. So if there's any questions, let me know. And thanks for watching.